This is Upgrade, and I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm going to present Happy, a Happy Printer. So it's a smart app printer. It's, 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 they call it the Happy, and I'm going to talk about it, why I got this, and why it should be a good thing to buy, or why not. So first of all, we were going to have a festival, well, a party, I would say, and um I started thinking about a photo booth, um, and it was my child's seventh birthday, and I wanted to have something memorable that I could give all my guests. And I was looking for a photo booth system, and I happened to come upon an Amazon to this machine, and no ink is required, of course, and that kind of got my attention. Hey, maybe it's something I could look into it. So let me give you a little insight about this machine. Um, it's a little smaller printer. Let me open it up. The printer itself, there's of course there's instructions on the box, but the printer itself, it's very small and petite. It's the size of uh, maybe I would say uh, a couple pounds. It's like one pound and a half of weight. It's a small little system. There's a base in the back where I guess the cartridges go in, and also another system where there's an adapter for AC. And the power connection, of course, goes on the right uh, here on the bottom. So I opened it up and um, I was very impressed with the little machine. You know, it's very simple. Um, it, it, it's it's retail for a hundred dollars. You know, plus tax, of course. Uh, you might find a newer version of it with the actual screen in the front of it, a display, touch display. This one does not have a touch display. The only reason I got this is because it was compatible. Of course, the box tells you it was compatible with the iPhone and the Droid. And I was thinking if I'm going to make a photo booth, maybe I should add a iPad, an iPhone, and just keep taking pictures and get a couple applications and print them out. And you know what? After using it on this party we had, it was a, it was a hit. It was very successful. It was everybody was taking pictures, printing out their own pictures, and taking some sort of veneer. And um, there's some great applications out there that you can find that are compatible with this printer. Uh, I found a couple of apps that it reminded me of um, when you have these photo booths. You always dress up and you have hats. You know you beers and mustache and other stuff. Well, this app ad automatically adds that into your system and it adds it anybody that comes into your group. So all you need is a clear background. You need a couple of people come in, take the picture, print it, send it to the print job and it will automatically start printing out. The only bad thing about this little printer was that it was a little slow. And of course, when you buy this machine, it's made by Zinc, of course, I forgot to mention that. Um, they give you they give you printer support and I was very upset with the printer because they gave you half an inch to print and to test it out and I guess it's for label making mostly for letters First, every paper you purchase for this printer it detaches itself so you can stick it on any of the items so this was a plus for me because people were taking pictures and printing them out and putting them on the back of their iPhone cases on their selves on their on their memories and it takes a precious memory with them on their birth on on this occasion so it was not a bad idea to to have this printer and present it and um of course i had a an ipad taking the pictures and uh people were just clicking save print automatically send them out to the machine what was great about it that i was able to give them a souvenir to take from the party to remember this birthday occasion and also print them out and send them into their social media so people can see funny stuff that happens. So I am going to present a couple of pictures in here that you guys can check and take a look at it that I printed out. It was pretty neat and pretty decent to have these things. Um, I would recommend it, but it's very slow. It, 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 if you're trying to print something, it takes a bit to send in the machine. And also you need to have this sync up to your wireless. So you need to have this item syncing up to your wireless. And you also need to have whatever item you're using to sync the back in here, which is your iPhone or, or your iPad. It will also be need to be in the same network. Now, the plus thing about this thing is that when you purchase a box, they're not they're not that bad to purchase. 
And the prip, this is, uh, they have different sizes, of course. This is a two inch. I was able to print this out. Uh, we ran out of ink, of course. But it, it, I'm letting you know how big is the, the sticker, you would say, you know, and that there's no toner or anything like that. And of course, this was like uh, 10 feet, I believe, of, of uh, paper. And it lasted quite a while. I wasn't able to reset it for a while. So we took hundreds of pictures and, and um, it lasted a while. So they have a sale where you buy two of these and you buy this one for a certain $125. I think you get a discount of a couple of bucks on it, which is not a bad deal. So once you could actually see on the side of it where the paper actually runs and runs out. And I do have another one here that is it's fully full, if you notice. It, it, this one's full, this is empty. So it's easy to detach and attach new ones. So I was very impressed that I just taught one or two people how to use this machine and they were on their own. And it, it was a hit. I mean, there was a line of people just waiting to take pictures and print them out and take some souvenirs. In fact, some of the people are saying, next party, I'm gonna have the same thing and have an idea like this. Now, now the recommendation of the application they, they tell you to download, um, I didn't like it. it. It took a long time to download the app itself and um, to update itself once you download it. And it tells you how to sync it up and how to marry it to your system, which is not a bad idea. They take it step by step, but the application itself is very glitchy. I, I had a lot of issues with it. That I, I did not end up using the application at the end. I ended up using something else. And um, I am gonna recommend the, a couple applications that, we, that I'm gonna recommend you guys to use with this machine if you ever have a chance which is an awesome, awesome little machine to use with it. Now, another thing that came across for me, so if you're working in a big company and you have these um, key card systems they give you, this is not a bad idea to print an ID. I would recommend that you print an ID. You could print hundreds of IDs, take the paper, detach it from itself, and tape it in back of one of those key card systems, which you don't have to carry two items, which is your ID and the key card. This was this is a, a big thing for me. I, I actually got recommended to um, to take back to my job and say, hey, you know what? Instead of us carrying two key cards, I could print an ID, paste the ID on our key card, and it'll be one item. So this is not a bad idea to print some sort of IDs, you know. So and you detachable things, and it, of course, you could just take it apart in the back and it just tape it anywhere and have it anywhere you want. So. I was very impressed with the machine, but other than the slowness on the system, it's not a bad item. My recommendation is um, on this machine, buy it. You know, if you have the funds for it and you're gonna have some sort of party like that and, and you wanna have a, a, a photo booth, this is not a bad start. I mean, it's not the greatest and fastest machine that's out there, but it does the job for a hundred bucks, you know, and um, the paper's not bad. They go up to 10 bucks this, this, for this. They make different sizes, of course. Another thing I forgot to mention on it, if you have a computer, you can put this side by side with your computer. It does have a USB connection right here in the side of it. So if you ever want to just send the prints directly to your computer, it's a faster way because if you do it wirelessly through the system, it takes a little bit to get to your router, come back to your system, and then print to the printer. So if you have an in, indirect connection with your actual laptop, you'll be able to print a little quicker than I have. Uh, of course, they give you a cleaner. So what this is, it's just to clean basically whatever fluids or anything that the system did not burn out because basically when you're printing out on this, it's like a laser printer. There's a roller burning all the stuff, all the colors out of this paper. And uh, they do get a little stuck. So if you notice here, here's all the colors right in the little corner right here, if you can notice. And that's what tells you how it, it gets burned and overheats. Now, to replace these cartridges, are it's very simple. They're like little puzzle pieces. There's an item here. There's a little slide here and the little slide at the top. So you just basically find the slide, push it in, you're ready to go. Now, one important thing I forgot to mention that when you put in the cartridge in, the wireless system comes on and the lock comes on. Now, the lock, if the lock system is on, you cannot pull this out for any reason. So you might have to unlock it first and then this thing will automatically pop out. So if just be cautious about it. Now, when you're printing, it's gonna print you a couple pictures first and then it takes them back and then it goes back forward. So once you complete the picture, you cannot pull the picture. You actually have to teach the system to cut it. So 
you slide your finger to the left, to the right, and you'll hear a little cut blade. And that triggers the blade to actually cut your pictures on the sizes that you want. Now, the reason they put this in there is because um, every picture has different sizes. So they're not all going to be the same. And some pictures might be long. You can actually do panoramic pictures on this. Stuff, and it's not that bad idea. So you can actually print any of your photos in here. You could requ The requirement of the paper is up to you. So hey, I would recommend the two inch is not a bad idea. I'll demonstrate a couple of ideas how to shoot this thing and how to cut it and how long it does it take. So let's get to it. I'm actually gonna print it on and print one picture from one of my items and you'll see how fast this connection is. And it, my recommendation is buy it. It's a fun item to have and take it to a party and it, it, lasts, it makes memory and it lasts forever. So it's a heavy duty sucker too. So it's not a bad thing. So let's get to it. Now to demonstrate this machine, I'm gonna use an iPad. It's a iPad 3, it's a regular iPad actually. Um, I'm gonna send the pictures directly to this printer and you'll see the length and the time that it takes to, to print this machine. Now, there is a wireless feature. It's looking for the wireless connection here. Once that's connected and it's a solid, you're ready to go. Just remember that any item that you're gonna connect, it has to be on the same network. So this little lock, see the little lock light? It tells you that the cartridge in the back is locked. You cannot pull it out. If you want to change the cartridge to a different size, you can just push the button it'll, and it'll, the light will display and then it'll disappear. Once it disappears, you're able to pull the cartridge out. Now, this side, remember the little slide slider I said? This is where you actually cut the picture. So, I'm going to get an existing picture that I have here that I program. I pre-programmed this system already to be in the same network, of course. It took me step by step on every single item, how to install, how to set up. And once it does the test and it performs, it cuts out a little piece of paper just to tell you that it's ready to set up. Now, I did download the sync design program just for one thing, just to set up the printer because they do have a step-by-step -step installation setup. Set up. So I was able to install it and I was able to sync up the system. So it's, it, you, what you have to do is remote wireless in, into this printer and then I'll identify. So if there's a network, you also have to teach the system what's the password for your network. So it's not a bad idea to set up, but the software, the application, it has its glitches. It wasn't very stable when I started using it. So I end up not using that and I end up using third parties, so other applications, which also work because this, once you identify this printer, you can use it for any of the applications uh, that you have in here, especially for your photos. So I was able to use this program called B612. And what it is, it's just a basic program that it takes pictures and it puts effects on people's faces. It identifies, and, um, which is not a bad thing. And it, there's a lot of hilarious, funny little cartoonish uh, figures that you could put in. Like I said, you could put hats, mustache, you can make a snow in the background. It's pretty neat item. So what I'm gonna demonstrate here is I'm gonna actually pick a picture from one of my photos I saved. Of course, this is what I'm talking about. We took a little simple picture with me and my niece and I'm gonna send it to the printer. I said, and you can select multiple pictures to it, print actually. But I'm only gonna select one and I'm gonna hit print. Once it prints, it, ask, it actually asks you, what printers do you wanna select? So happy zinc. Happy 9558. I guess that's the model. So we select that one and we hit print. And I just sent the print to the system. So it takes a couple of seconds to actually start going. And you'll see the blinking light. And there it goes. It starts blinking. It starts going. And it tells you that it's printing. So the system is actually sending this picture to this system. And it warms up, it does its procedures, but it's not a bad thing. I mean, it picked up right away. And if you notice, it just started printing in the first section of the picture. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take its time. If you have other pictures, it's gonna start presenting them in the system too. So it'll roll out your whole picture setup and you could cut them by one, one by one instead of using the blade on the top. So right now, what's doing, it's still going through the prints. Okay. Now the print is ready. It took a cut quite a while. So what it's telling you to do is run across. So once you run across, it cuts the system out. And voila, there's your picture. 
little small decal picture compared to this. So I'm going to send you, I'm going to print another one. And this is my daughter I'm going to print. So I'm going to send another picture, which is not a fast idea. If, you, if you're printing anything size like this, it's going to print really quick. So if you're trying to print something larger, it's going to take its time. So let me send another picture here. That picture I'm going to select. It automatically identifies the printer, send the print, and you'll start seeing the blinking light. There's the blinking light. It took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So the picture's done, 30 seconds. So once it's done, you just slide your finger over. It starts cutting it. So it takes about 30 seconds before it starts blinking and voila. There's your little picture. Your decals could go on your phone. And like I said, if you're gonna have occasions like birthdays, parties, um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, it's not a bad idea to save some memories in here. And I really, really love the machine. It was a big hit, like I said, and um, just having your own personal booth, uh, photo booth, instead of hiring a professional, you probably end up doing it yourself. But the only thing is the learning curve and the setup is the most difficult thing. Like I said, I had a little issue setting up this machine too. Um, if you're not familiar with networks or some sort of synchronization or Bluetooth, you're gonna have problems. So if you have problems setting up your Bluetooth on your car, you're gonna have a problem setting up to this machine. So to avoid that, people what people are doing, they just plug into the USB to a computer and they send the picture from their computer directly to the system. Or you could have a cam system taking pictures of it to your computer and there's all these applications out there for photo booth once you have that you're able to print so it takes about 30 seconds to print a picture of this size now at the end of the day it's not a bad idea you could post them up onto your social media networks that you have you know and um, not only did you give them a souvenir but you actually have a memory saved on uh, Facebook too or or Instagram and, and or uh, Twitter so people are not gonna forget they're going to remember this and they're going to remember in the social media. So I'm Frank the Tank, your host, and this is Upgrade. And I um, highly recommend you getting one of these machines if you're ever going to have a photo booth set up. So have fun with it if you get one. And if you have any questions, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe, please. Um, I will talk about more items like this. If you want to, just let me know down below the comments. And uh, once again, I'm Frank the Tank, your host, and this is Upgrade. Thank you.